are solid win. Uh, obviously, anytime you can you can get a conference win, it's big. Um, looking at the stat sheet and looking at the final score, um, it, it did not feel <laughs> like it was it was that large of a lead. Uh, it felt like a grinded out type of, of game, uh, and we said that coming in. Uh, I have tremendous respect for Coach Paula and SIUE. Uh, we haven't beaten them since 2014. So we knew they were going to have a great game plan. They were going to be well coached. They were going to play extremely hard. Uh, but credit our kids. While I, I, I didn't think we, I didn't like the energy that we started the game with, uh, and I thought we looked a little lethargic and tired at times tonight. Um, I thought our kids made plays when we had to make plays. Um, obviously, shot the ball um, pretty well from the floor. Um, just had contributions all the way down the line. Five players in double figures, uh, 18 assists on 26 baskets, 39 bench points. That's, um, that, that's pretty good. Um, 19 second chance points. So I, I thought our bench was tremendous. Uh, I thought Anasia Wilkinson, Mackenzie Coleman, and Keisha Brady came in and just brought us a lot of energy. Um, and so just a, a really solid win. Questions? Coach, you know, you, you talked about it. It was more of a grind out game, but y'all did have one like really big run there in the third quarter where, you know, Jordan made like two threes. Uh, I think you may have maybe had a couple layup here. How did you make that run? How did you guys stretch that out? Well, you know, we're 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 very deep. Uh, obviously, you know, I, I feel like we have a number of players that could start. You know, but you can only start five. <laughs> so I, I think um, I think we're doing a really solid job of using our depth, um, and we want to push tempo. We want to push pace. And I thought the we had pushed it. You know, we pushed it in the first and second quarter, but that's not always where you see it wear on teams. You see it in the third and fourth quarter. And I thought our pace and our tempo and our depth um, and our quality of depth. We don't just have depth. We have quality depth. And I just thought that started to wear on them a little bit. And uh, defensively, I thought they got tired. And obviously, Jordan Brock shot the ball extremely well. I mean, if you give her an inch, she's going to knock it down. And um, you know, it's really nice to have a kid li like that that can stretch the floor. And uh, I'll tell you, the last two games, I thought Jordan has stepped up and made some huge threes and answered a call when we needed it. She did the same thing at Belmont on Saturday when they cut the lead. Tonight, when they cut the lead, she hit she hit a big three. And so, uh, you know, I just I think we we had a lot of kids. Um, we played a lot of kids, and I thought our depth and our pace just kind of wore on them. Uh, how do you feel about the rebounding tonight? I mean, it started out kind of <laughs> slower, but you, you ended up out rebounding them by the end of the game. Well, that's always good. Anytime you can out rebound a team, I thought we we did a really nice job on the offensive boards. Sixteen offensive boards, nineteen second chance uh, points. Uh, but when I look and I see that we gave up nineteen offensive boards, obviously that's a concern. Now, that is their strength. Uh, they came in to this game, the first two uh, conference games, and were averaging twenty offensive rebounds. A, a, a game. I mean, that's crazy. Uh, the first first um, conference game, I think they had 24. The last one, I think they had 20. So that is absolutely their strength. And we didn't do a great job of, uh, of taking their strength away. Um, but I thought we countered that in a lot of other, other ways. Mm -hmm. uh, Anasi, you got a double-double out there tonight. Uh, how does it feel to be able to do that? And how does it feel to help your team just get a good win? You know, somebody got to do it, and I just <laughs> wanted to step up tonight and go get those rebounds. Like the coach said, their um, biggest strength tonight was offensive rebounds coming in. So I had to go, I had to get those defensive boards, keep them off the offensive boards. So you know, I, I, I want to say this about Nacy. Um, it is it is just heartwarming to have her sitting here by me tonight because this kid has been through it. I mean, uh, most players in her position probably would have quit and given up and she has fought through injuries she's fought through when it looked like she was never going to play again and she just wouldn't give up i mean her heart uh she's from houston so i will say her heart's <laughs> as big as texas um and and i think you're seeing that she just become such a great leader for us um and she's a she's a game changer i mean what she can do on the offensive end being able to score inside and then stretch the defense outside being able to offensive rebound and and on the defensive end I mean, she's, she's just, you know, five blocks, uh, 11 defensive rebounds. I mean, she is, she is really, really playing at a high level. So just, just proud of her, and she's very, very deserving. And then, you know, Coach, I know it's still early, but how does it feel to be 3-0 in OBC play? And were you worried at all about uh, 
coming off a huge win against Belmont, there being a little bit of a one hundred percent. Yeah, you know, I I, uh, I was worried about it. We talked, you know, we we celebrated on Saturday. We enjoyed it Sunday, and then we came in on Monday and we talked about the positives because I think you you have to you have to take from games. You have to take positives from games, but you also there was a lot of growth that we needed to take from that game. So we talked about it briefly and then we moved on. Um, you know, I, I like our kids' mentality. Uh, I, I don't think we it was necessarily a letdown tonight as far as I, I didn't think our energy was there, but I don't think it was because our kids weren't ready. I, I think these kids, even though we're still a young basketball team, I think they're mature basketball team I thought tonight we, we just looked tired um, I, we've got you know we've got some kids that at this time of the year we get cold you don't feel good and so we had some kids battling that tonight and I thought it it showed through but again you know we, we've got so many kids that we can bring in off the bench and not not miss a beat you know um, and and sometimes even those kids you know come in and make us better um, I thought that I thought that really paid off but as far as the record been um, I have said this you know, since we got here um, two and a half years ago. I, I, I can't even tell you what our record is. Um, you know, I, I, I don't look at that, I, I really, I don't. Um, we are just focused on one game at a time, and it is such coach speak, <laughs> but it's our process, and we believe in it. Um, you know, when, when we were seven and whatever last year, we didn't focus on our record, we didn't talk about it, we just talked about how we needed to grow and be better from one, one day to the next. And I think if, if we can continue to do that, not look behind, not look ahead, but stay in the moment and just try to be each day better the next day than we were yesterday, then uh, I really like where this team could go. Yeah, uh, Coach, so Jordan Brock, first 20 points for this season. I mean, that is balance personified, right? I mean, as, a, as if you put yourself in the shoes of an opposing coach, how do you stop you? Well, I, you know, I, I think that that is what is is difficult. You know, is we we have so many kids that can that can score. Um, you know, and, and I think the biggest thing is we can't we can't stop ourselves. You know, I, I think we we have to we have to continue every night to bring our strength. And you know, there's going to be nights. I, I thought Saturday we hit ten threes. You know, tonight. Um, you know, we, we Jordan shot the three ball really well. I thought Keisha, Keisha Brady shot the three ball extremely well. But there's going to be nights where we don't shoot the ball well. And so we've, we've got to find other ways to be able to put the ball in the hole, get offense off of our defense, um, you know, and just not get caught up in shooting the three or any one particular thing, just knowing what our strengths are and continuing to bring those each and every night. Sure. And, and at the half, I believe the points in the paint was something like 26 to 10 in favor of SIUE. It ends 30 24. You close that gap pretty considerably. I, it's got to be due to players like Wilkinson, Coleman, who really, and I think that kind of brought your energy up for the second half, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. When you have 6'4 um, and 6'3 and in the paint with the length and athleticism um, that those two kids bring, it, it, it helps. Um, now, I do think at, at halftime, a big emphasis that we talked about at halftime, we had to get better defensively. Um, we weren't playing hard enough defensively. SIUE is a team that you, you have to outwork, you know, and, and our, any, any opponent that makes you outwork them, I tremendously respect. And I have huge respect for that team and that program because they make you outwork them. And we weren't outworking them in the first half. Uh, we were giving up too many middle drives. Uh, we weren't communicating on defense. We weren't keeping the ball in front. We weren't boxing out. And I thought we started to get a little more committed on the defensive end in the second half. But absolutely, um, you know, the, the, the Twin Towers, I, I, I'll call them, um, they, they do. They do add a dimension defensively because when you do get beat off the dribble, you know that they're going to have your back in there. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, guys.